different scenarios that we could have experienced growing up. A lot of different scenarios that could have made that a a difficult thing or, or you know difficult to understand, difficult to know for sure if we experience love, <clears throat> excuse me, or what type of love we experienced growing up so some people this message may not even apply to or resonate with and that's fine but for some of us some of us um, struggle with love Struggle with receiving love, struggle with giving love, struggle with loving ourselves. Some of us were hurt by people that we felt like we loved. <clears throat> or, or people that we felt loved us. <clears throat> I'm sorry. <clears throat> Man. <clears throat> early mornings now be a little rough in these wintry months but um yeah so so many of us struggle with the concept of love and we have attempted to love people throughout the years or 
we have thought we have loved people. We have thought certain people loved us. And maybe we were let down or disappointed. Or maybe we, we realized it wasn't love at all. Or maybe we don't know what it was. Maybe it was love, but we still do not yet comprehend love. Man, so that's probably even something that needs to be broken down. Maybe love is something we need to deal with. Um, but um, one of the hardest things to really get over is feeling like somebody that you loved or that you felt loved you or should love you or... Um, someone that you had a relationship with it doesn't necessarily have to mean a partner it could be a family member but you know many of us have had experiences in which people who we loved we feel have hurt us damaged us uh, mistreated us used us, abused us. That could be verbally, physically, emotionally. Uh, and many of us that have experienced this in our lives, and uh, truth of the matter, when you really spend some time with it, you find that these things can have long-lasting effects on us. There's nothing worse than feeling like the person that you love or who you felt loved you hurts you. Especially if, one, they never even acknowledge that they hurt you. Or two, they never apologize for hurting you. Because sometimes we feel like we, we, we deserve an apology. Or maybe we should get an apology for how we were done, how we were treated what was done to us. And so the reason that it has long lasting effects is because we expect these people to own it. We expect these people to admit it, confess it and say, you know, I'm sorry for what I did. I'm sorry for hurting you. Uh, I'm sorry for this or that. And so we have this expectation because growing up, you know, whether it be school, church, or home, you were taught that when somebody does something wrong, when you do something wrong, what do you do? What do you say? I'm sorry or I apologize. Because I remember some people, some of uh Sometimes, like, wiser people, old, I don't want to say just old, but elderly people would say, uh, don't be sorry, you know what I'm saying? Uh, you know, but apologize for your action, you know. I apologize for what I did, for what I said, for hurting you, for, you know, for whatever it is that I did to you, you know. But you need to know what you did to people order to apologize because otherwise you can't apologize you know and, and I'm saying that is in, in the sense of if if you just clearly don't even know that you did anything but if you know that you did something then you can go to a person and say hey I'm sorry for what I did on that particular day I'm hey that two years ago when I said this I should not have said that. I'm sorry that I said that, you know. So, because we were raised up and taught that 
when you do wrong things, one should apologize. We, we have these expectations that everybody's going to follow that rule. But we, we, we should know by, by looking at the, uh, the world we live in that, the, the, you know, if you look at society or state or, or uh, you know, federal laws, you know, they're broken every day. You know, uh, the laws of God are broken every day. So we have to understand that even when there are laws in place, there are people who who don't follow the laws. There are people who go against the rules. There are people who break the rules, break the law every single day. So everybody's not going to play the game. But for some reason, when it comes to us being hurt or when it comes to our feelings, we believe that everybody should play the game and do the right thing and come and tell us that they're sorry. Well, the, 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 the sad reality that we must all face is that that's not the case. That's, that's, that's not the world that we live in. Everybody does not follow the rules. Everybody does not follow your rules. Everybody does not follow laws. Everybody does not do everything that you think they should do. So when we have these expectations of people, especially when it comes to apologies, we're setting ourselves up big time because there is no rule or law that says that people have to I mean there's no rule or law there are rules and laws but everybody doesn't care everybody doesn't doesn't follow them so although it may be the thing that we believe is right that people should apologize because they hurt us and, and then so now we're we're withholding uh, our our love or our feelings because this person did it and they didn't say they're sorry. So now I, I'm going to have this feeling towards you. Uh, <clears throat> when it comes to people that you sincerely care about, the people that you love, the you know, the people that you have developed relationships with. Um, especially when it comes to family or, or, you know, just people that you have very, uh, close bonds with, or, or maybe you decided to cut some people off because they did not apologize to you or, or whatnot. Um, I'll just say, uh. I just say um, the way that you truly are able to heal from that and let that go is to just love them anyway. We're going to have to learn to love anyway. Because at the end of the day, there is someone who has loved us unconditionally in spite of us, in spite of things that we've done. And if we ever want to be I don't want to say if we ever want to be I don't want to place this on on everybody, but I'm just going to say in my experiences, what I'll say is that learning to love these people in spite of removes that weight and that baggage off of you of having to carry around the anger and the hatred and the frustration and the hurt because these people have done these things to us. But we can learn to forgive 
Uh, I'm not saying you got to go and hang out with these people, right? I'm not saying you got to invite these people back to your house. I'm not saying you have to fall back into a deep relationship with these people. But what I'm saying is if you can learn and develop the ability to forgive and love them anyway, in spite of who they are, how they act, what they've done, uh, and that has even some some things to it now because uh, there are different kind of hurts that were done. But I'm speaking more so in terms of our feelings. Uh, our feelings. There's a weight that we carry when our feelings are hurt. Because physical hurt, it kind of kind of brings in some other elements that we might have to talk about at a later time. But right now, just you know, the 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 emotional effect that it has on us when people have hurt us. Uh, that aspect. Uh, healing from that uh, removes a lot of baggage and uh, I just want to encourage you all love them anyway you know, continue to focus on yourself and the things that you're doing to better yourself. And, uh, you know, sometimes holding on to that baggage can affect your growth and it can affect you uh, from uh, moving forward. You know, we'll stay stuck in a particular place holding on to that hurt. And uh, I just want to encourage you to free yourself from that hurt. And let it go by forgiving and loving them anyway. Because you may never get that apology. That person may never take ownership. That person may never hold themselves accountable or responsible. But you will always hold on to that feeling unless you release it. So, I love you, and uh, I pray that uh, for anyone who has gone through or experienced this, I pray that you find healing and peace. And uh, I'm only sharing uh, my own personal experiences and, and how I am working to overcome. Nothing I'm saying. I'm not claiming to be an expert. Uh, I'm not a, 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 a <laughs> I'm not a doctor, you know what I mean. But um, I definitely have been going through the process of healing uh, uh, from a lot of things that you know. Some things I didn't even realize I was uh, I was dealing with, um, but I'm here now and uh, I'm still pushing and I'm still fighting and I'm still. I'm still here, you know, uh, and I'm thankful to God for giving me the guidance and the wisdom and the understanding to process and uh, release some of those things, you know, and as I continue to discover new things about myself or new, uh, uh, you know, uncover things um, that have been buried deep, you know, I'm continuing to seek uh, God's wisdom and guidance and understanding to be able to heal from those things as well. So I just wanted to share something that has been working for me and um, praying that someone listening can also find help um, for whatever they may be going through or dealing with. But I'm about to go in here to work. So uh, I'll talk to y'all soon. Peace and love.